limited time only 10 minutes left phone now phone now um i'm excited about this person's intensives and we're, we're going to talk about that and I, indeed that person is also in the house the great kenton nepper and Kenton, yay! You and Kenton and Tommy Burnett also of all these shows of the Tuesday Night Magic Theater, the Open Mic Magic, and um, as well my show. Um, I don't know if Tommy's around as well, but Kenton does these incredible intensives, and really, well, I, I'm not going to brag about them. I'm going to ask Kenton himself to chat a little bit to explain to everybody what it is well we have thank you it's great to be with you again uh, and see everybody you know um ed and i go way back and we're working on the cinema magician show and all sorts of other things uh and have uh, worked together in lots of different capacities and continue as well as his wife karen um and you know ed and a couple friends of mine said one day you know you know all this stuff you've published all these books and all these giant things that people study but Sometimes people just want to learn one on one. And, you know, it's it's costs a lot of money to do that. Is there any way you could possibly figure out a way to do it that was more easily available to people? And so we started doing what we call intensives, um, which is about any particular issue that I know a lot about. And because it's Halloween, we decided to do one that was called Weird, Strange and Bizarre Magic. Um, and uh that's uh, that's what we're doing. So Ed's uh, featured in that, does a lot of great things. Tommy is a, a facilitator and a great teacher in that too, and presents a lot of wonderful material. Um, I just run around and check the candy to make sure the candy's not bad because, you know, uh, it's. I, I don't know if you know this or not. Um, you probably heard the rumors, right, of like, you know, kids, you got to check your candy. Most of that's not true. That's an urban legend, you know, and people got into this hysteria and it's not... Not really true, but I'll tell you what you should know, just as a public service, since I was have a moment, that if you check the candy, you don't want to check for like silly nonsense, like did they put razor blades or Tylenol or some nonsense. It's spirits. You've got to look out for spirits. So the way to do that is simply to check it and talk to it. And if nothing happens, you're good. But, you know, sometimes what will happen is, the, the, stop it. See, that's what you've got to watch for. So keep an eye out on the spirits. This Stop it. We've talked about this. I trained this one, so he's usually not a problem. He always stays down when I'm watching him. So he, he doesn't, like, kick up a fuss. Any Will you stop it? What? No. Hey, I'm going to tickle you. I am going to tickle you. Stop. Okay, that's better. Go lay down. All right. So always check your candy for spirits. <laughs> That's something you want to watch for. We'll talk about that uh, in the intensive, but uh, how to really do that check for spirits and uh, lots of other things. So uh, we've had a great lot of fun doing really serious things and really fun, goofy things. And well, you never know what you're going to find in an intensive. So uh, you, you won't believe what Ed and Tommy do. It's hilarious. And uh, yeah, I have quite a few things to teach too. So that's what we're doing. I love it, Kenton. I love it. You, um, hmm, if this is fair to say, and I do believe it is, yeah. you help the performer to evolve, both the person and the performer. And in that process, I think it's fair to say as well, creativity happens. Like what you just did, most magicians will go, holy cow, wow, what a neat variation of such and such. You've put your own spin on it. Uh, you've added the idea of spirits or ghosts or whatever to that. I love it. it it's a, and it's a yummy trick on top of that, too. It is. And, and yeah. just magic is not just for suckers. So it's it's yeah. important. To that. So, you know, uh, very the good. The more you know, the more you learn the real stuff, the easier everything is, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. So if you want to evolve as a performer, as a person, um, if you evolve as a person, you'll naturally evolve as a performer as well. I, I hope absolutely. that's fair to say. And yes. how can people, first of all, reach you, Kenton? And secondly, uh, find out more about the intensives? Well, the uh, intensives are on my website. That's Wonder Wizards. Dot com um, And you'll see in the categories, there's a special pull down place that 
shows you where intensives are. So uh, wonderwizards.com, go check out the intensives. There's a lot there and uh, they're all recorded when we do the live. So you can always go back and uh, and check them and get into them. Uh, and other than that, you can follow me on Facebook uh, at Kenton Wiz. I'm on Facebook, uh, very easy to find me, Kenton Wiz. Um, and uh, other than that, it's the website or KentonCosmicMusic.com for my music people. So uh, Kenton Cosmic Music is another thing. I love it. I've heard some of your music. One of our performers, one of the Tuesday nights, Magic Theater and Open Mic Magic, she's coming up in a little while. She often uses your music. And it's cosmic for lack of a better term, it's moving on so many levels. And uh, once someone listens to any of your music, they'll they'll understand what I've just said. It's I want to say it's out of this world. I didn't mean to be punny, but, <laughs> but, but it's absolutely so. Kenton yeah. Epper, you have my eternal gratitude. Hopefully you'll come back to our show again. Ed, thank you so much, Edward L. Underwood, for gracing us this day.